Hello everyone. Hello everyone. And in this side, so in this video, we will be connecting the SQL Server database with the help of uh, Python. So I'm using uh, I'm using Jupyter Notebook uh, in the Visual Studio Code, right? So let's create a new file. So new Jupyter Notebook, and then we have an environment over here. Um, let me open the terminal, new terminal, and then I will use the on one. So the environment is already activated. So how do we do that? So let me show that as well. Um, it's V E N V, and then we have this activate. So basically, activate is used when the when it's not activated. So basically, we'll use deactivate first. Uh, system cannot find V E N V. My E N V. Sorry, my mistake. Right. So right now we have only Python for finance, and then what we will be doing. We'll be activating it first. So my env. So now we are inside the environment, right? So first we will be um, installing the PyODBC. So PyODBC basically helps to connect. It's a bridge between the database and this code, right? Or server and this code. So we'll say pip install PyODBC. Since it's already installed, so it will say the requirement is already satisfied. So Py ODBC is already installed. So if we see the library and then if you go down, so we'll see Py ODBC if the version is already installed. Right. So now first code that we need is to import Py ODBC. Right. Um now let's run this. So it's connected or ported. Now let's create a connection. So right when is equal to Py ODBC dot connect and then let's open the packets um, first we will pass the driver so driver will be equal to sql server right um and then colon then we have server server like we like i mentioned earlier so it will be the path the instance of the server that we used so it will be server is equal to this one right now semicolon again uh let me just type this uh comma and then again um after server we'll be passing the database is will be um so database will be equal to for uh, using financial data as a database right okay and then then we will be passing on uh, the authentication since we are using the windows authentication so we'll say trusted Connection is equal to yes. Uh, I think that's all we need for the connection part. So we are basically creating a. Or if you, if you remember, in the last video, we will be we were creating a new connection. So that's the same thing that it is doing. Um, see, almost all the programming languages are same. And then we are when we are passing the connection. So these are all the parameters that we need to pass. So I would say it's almost the same in VBA as well that we did. Now let's create a cursor. Cursor equal to con dot cursor, right? Um, and then let's say cursor dot execute. And then I would say let's say select star from company by sector, right? Um, this is one way of uh, getting the data. So I will run this, and then maybe uh can do further. So for row in the cursor. Right. Um, and then for each row in the cursor, I would say print, right? And then print HR. So I think this should give an output. There is another way I will work on uh I will show you that as well. So let's do one thing. Uh instead of writing this over here, let me add it on a new line. Uh, let's create a connection first. Uh, what it says, uh pi cannot open the database okay there is a database name in correction financial data right so financial data in financial data so now this is run and then we have a cursor so we have the list of all the rows right so you could have done something like this as well right you could have removed the row and then you would get something like this but um what I would like to see is not like this code, but there is another way of writing the same code. So, so I had this one as a better code. Uh, I feel like this one is a better code. Uh, let me 
this and then this is not connection cursor that's of the code are same so here what the 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 difference is so now if i run this over so we are basically doing the same thing but what we could have also done instead of doing a while um now this is a kind of a testing and i want this one as well to be commented and then if i say um print um cursor dot fetch all right if i'm not wrong this will give us the data as well so we have the data so it has created this right so i believe this is more like um i mean you could you could run fetch all or you can uh, do a while loop as well you can do both this is kind of a list uh, i would prefer to have uh, but it's up to you how do you want to do that okay great so this was like what um how to connect your uh, or how to fetch the data from a database with the help of file. so yeah that's all thank you so much have a great day uh, please make sure to like share and subscribe